I've peed in a bucket with uh, bleach in it. Have I made mustard gas? And now, over to our science expert! Hello again, it's me, Professor Feldman. So, you have peed into a bucket containing bleach and you want to know if you have made mustard gas. No, but you have synthesized something very volatile and toxic. That being said, let's define mustard gas. Screen! Mustard gas is a type of chemical warfare agent. As a chemical weapon, mustard gas was first used in World War I. Mustard gas was dispersed as an aerosol in a mixture with other chemicals, giving it a yellow-brown color. Mustard gas contains sulfur, and one way to make it is to mix sulfur dichloride with ethylene. Structurally, it looks like this. Mustard gases react with DNA, which interferes with cellular division and can lead to mutation. Mustard gases are extremely toxic and have powerful blistering effects on victims. Their old collating capabilities make them strongly carcinogenic and mutagenic. So now you know your bucket doesn't contain mustard gas. Let's take this experiment upstairs to the laboratory where bleach and pee hang out exclusively. The question is, if not mustard gas, what have you synthesized in your toilet or bucket? Let's break it down. What chemicals could be produced from urine? Water, ammonia, testosterone, carbamide, white phosphorus, estrogen, oxalic acid, sodium bicarbonate, acetic acid, and sodium chloride. Bleach just contains sodium hypochlorite as its active ingredients. Mixing urine's many chemicals like testosterone won't do a lot in bleach, but mixed with ammonia which is present in urine, at least one of the following will be released. Chlorine gas, actually very toxic first lethal gas used in warfare. Nitrogen trichloride, irritating and explosive. This caused researcher Sir Humphrey Davy to lose two fingers and an eye. And hydrazine, both toxic and explosive, so dangerous that several countries are phasing it out as a rocket propellant. What will happen when pea and bleach are mixed? Bleach and ammonia, which is found in urine, causes a chemical reaction. It will cause the bleach to foam up and create toxic fumes. The reason for this chemical reaction is due to hypochlorite. Once this hypochlorite mixes with the ammonia in the urine, it causes a chemical reaction that generates gases and fumes. These gases and fumes that it creates are called chloramines. If a human consumes this, ooh, especially in a confined space, it is very dangerous. Luckily, pea contains a small percentage of ammonia, and normal domestic bleach contains a smaller percentage of hypochlorite. It's still strong enough to cause the same reaction, but it's safe to say that you won't be losing any fingers or launching any rockets while urinating into the bowl. Don't sniff, or consume, or drink, or otherwise, do anything with the contents, as if you would. Oh, and incidentally, don't pee on any electric fences. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>